Okay, so we're going to do the transesterification reaction to make biodiesel from some vegetable oil. Right here I have 200 milliliters of just some vegetable oil. This is actually peanut oil. Um, and it's in the stir, or it's in an Erlenmeyer flask, and it's on the stir plate that's heating the oil up to 60 degrees C. We want to be very careful that we don't overheat the oil because it can start to break down and then um, we won't have a, a good reaction. So it needs to stay um, as close to 60 degrees C as possible. If we let it go lower than that, then uh, the reaction slows down. If we let it get above 70 degrees C, then we have polymerization and, and we don't have um, the oil, then the triglycerides for our, our transesterification to, to work. So first thing I'm going to do, now that I've got my oil measured out and heating, is measure out 50 milliliters of methanol. Use my graduated cylinder to do this. And I'm going to place this 50 milliliters into a beaker, a 250 milliliter beaker. And the reason I don't measure inside my beaker is because it's um, not got enough accuracy. So this is a, um, a less accurate method. It kind of gives me an approximate, even if it says here approximate volumes. So I use a graduated cylinder that's much more accurate. So pour that into my beaker. And now I want to measure out 0.85 to 1.1 grams of sodium hydroxide. Now I always want to add a dry um, caustic in this case to my solution and not the other way around. Um, there's a heat that's generated when caustic or acid is dissolved into a liquid and so we don't ever want to add the liquid to the solid, we want to add the solid to the liquid. If we were to have the um, adding the liquid to the solid, there might be enough heat generated that we would start splattering things and we don't want to splatter um, concentrated acids or bases. This is a base here that we're adding. So I'm going to measure out in my scale somewhere between 0.85 and 1.1 grams of the sodium hydroxide beads. There's a little bit too much there. Oh, 1.1 exactly, so we'll go with that. I'm going to add that to my methanol. This is the catalyst that is going to make our reaction proceed at a rate that's fast enough for us to notice. Okay, give that a little stir, get that dissolved. Once this is dissolved and once my oil is up to the 60 degrees C that I need it at, then I can combine these two solutions. So now my oil has gotten up to 60 degrees C. That's hot enough for our, the reaction to proceed at a reasonable rate. Um, like I said, we've got to keep this in a certain range. The range that we need to keep it in is between 55 degrees C and 65 degrees C. Um, below 55, the reaction just sort of slows to too slow for us to um, make it worthwhile. And then above 65, we start getting into that polymerization of the oil, which we don't want to happen. So I'm going to take my um, methoxide solution, which is that sodium hydroxide mixed with methanol, and I'm going to pour that into the oil. And we can immediately see that there's a change in the color. That's a good indication that we've got a reaction starting. 
this reaction needs to proceed over about a half an hour's time. So we're going to keep it on the, the, um, the heated plate while it's stirring vigorously so that it can get good contact between the methoxide and the oil so that the reaction can happen. And it needs about a half an hour for that reaction to proceed. So we'll go ahead and let this stir for a half an hour. In the meantime, we'll be careful to watch our temperature and make sure that it stays in that 55 to 65 degrees C range. So at this point, the reaction has been proceeding and we've got this mixing for um, a half an hour. And now we need to neutralize the solution because we still have that sodium hydroxide sitting in there. And uh, so we're going to use a little bit of vinegar. So we're going to measure 50 milliliters of vinegar. And that's how we'll neutralize it. Since vinegar is an acid, it will react with that sodium hydroxide um, to just become salts and water. So we will neutralize our solution and we can handle it without worrying about the, um, the base causing problems with our equipment in our hands. So once I've neutralized that, that means that the reaction's going to stop. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and turn everything off. And I want to just let this sit and settle for um, at least a day. If you had a, have a centrifuge, you can put this into centrifuge tubes and make it the settling process happen. But basically, we want to let this um, settle out into the two layers, the hydrophobic layer, which is our biodiesel, and that's going to be floating on the top and the hydrophilic or our aqueous or our water layer which will be down here at the bottom we should see about a hundred milliliters of that aqueous layer so we'll go ahead and let this settle out for about a day and um, then we'll be ready to use the biodiesel for uh, product testing <laughs>